it looks like somebody's up early today. Please don't talk to me. Jeez, looks like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Shouldn't you be going on your morning run or something? Oh, I got back like a half hour ago. I'm listening to this new podcast that says you should do six things that scare you before 6 a.m. Why? That sounds horrible. You should listen to it. You might find it enlightening. Mm, no thanks. Okay, well, you should at least eat some breakfast. Fine, I'll make some ramen. Alicia, you're 26. You shouldn't be eating ramen for breakfast. All right, I'll have a granola bar. Okay, I'm gonna go take a nice cold shower now. We should have hot water. I haven't showered yet. Oh, no, the podcast I was listening to today was talking about the benefits of shocking your nervous system every day with cold water, so I'm gonna go try it. I'm so excited. Okay, have fun with that. I'm just gonna close my eyes for like one second. So it's Luke M and welcome to a day in my life. Usually my mom wakes me up at like 7.30 for school, but we're on Christmas break, so today I gotta sleep in. Let's go downstairs and see what my mom made for breakfast. I'm starving. Yo, mom, what's for breakfast? Breakfast? It's one in the afternoon. Oops, me and my best friend Drew stayed up all night playing video games. Bro, I'm stunned. Revive me, revive me. Today I'm going to hang out with my girlfriend Lexi, and I'm gonna be late if I don't hurry, so I guess I'll just have some protein powder. Luke is Michael. Like I said, I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriend Lexi today, so I'm making sure I brush extra good. Ever since Lexi got in trouble we haven't been able to hang out like at all but her dad's having surgery today so her parents are gonna be gone like all day hey don't look at me like that it's just a knee replacement i don't have my driver's license yet so my mom still has to drive me everywhere mom hurry up Ugh, i love the boy but i'm counting down the days until he moves to college oh my god i just got back home from lexi's house and i'm freaking out so picture this we're sitting on her couch watching a movie kissing a little bit and all of a sudden her aunt walks in the door carrying a huge thing of casserole i had to hide under the blankets for like 10 minutes while she talked to her aunt but i don't think she knew i was there or that would have been bad for dinner i'm gonna have ramen and maybe some frozen chicken nuggets my mom's been begging me to watch a movie with her so tonight we're watching the notebook it's a classic it looks stupid okay well now that i can't stop crying i guess i'll go to bed good night all right you kids ready to go ready yep ready mom hey why are you wearing my clothes because they're comfy okay well they're mine honey why don't you just wear the new t-shirt and shorts your grandma got you for your birthday ew no it has pink on it matthew is it okay if your sister wears this just for today fine okay now give each other a hug or something because we have a long drive ahead of us and i will not have you two fighting in the back the whole time oh no yeah no way a high five fine why are your hands so dirty oh i was playing outside with the kids who just moved in next door yeah they were playing some lame princess game was not we were playing knights and castles okay lily was the princess who was stuck up in the tree and me and marcus were the knights who had to go save her oh cool yeah we found sticks that we used as swords and we pretended that biscuit the neighbor's dog was a dragon it was awesome that's very cool now go wash your hands real quick so we can leave fine oh mom look how hairy my legs are getting the other day everyone in my grade compared and other than timmy b mine are the hairiest out of everyone wow look at you all grown up i know right they almost look like dads <laughs> my legs are way hairier than yours look or not are too enough okay if you two stop fighting right now i'll let you watch a movie in the car deal yeah deal okay now what movie do you want to watch power Rangers. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Oh my god, there's Cody. Oh, he's so hot. Girl, I'm tired of hearing you blab about him every day. Just go talk to him. About what? He's the star freaking quarterback and I'm just a biochem major. Y'all have a class together though, right? Right. So just go up to him after class today and I don't know, talk about the professor or something. <sighs> okay, fine. Oh my god, Mr. Sampson's class is so boring. Tell me about it. He lectures the whole hour and just expects us to like sit there. What is that? I mean, I take notes, but oh, I haven't taken notes in years. What? How do you study? Oh, I just copy other people's notes. I mean, I guess that's one of the perks of being me. You know, lots of people willing to give you their notes yeah that makes sense so could i copy your notes oh yeah for sure okay um i don't have a pen and paper right now so do you just want to come over to my dorm or something later oh you don't need a pen and paper just use cam scanner cam okay, what here it's an app that lets you scan any document directly to your phone you can just take a picture of my notes and then it instantly converts it to a pdf word document powerpoint anything you want oh and one of my personal favorite features the smudge tool so you can fix any unwanted mistakes and let me just add one more thing real quick okay perfect Whoa, it's so clear, and now I can just save this to my phone? Yep. Oh, what's that in your hand? I was just gonna give you my phone number in case you had a hard time finding my dorm, but I guess since I have the notes now, you won't be needing it. No, wait. Hey, you're a lifesaver. Oh my god. What? You see that girl over there? Yeah, with the brown hair? Dude, I went to high school with her, and she was so mean to me and all my friends. Really? You weren't popular in high school? No. Oh my god, she's coming over here. Alicia? What? Hey, long time no see. I know. Can you believe we graduated nine years ago? Has it really been nine years? Yep, because let's see. I found out I was pregnant with Brinley right after our senior kager, and she just had her eighth birthday, so that's nine years. Whoa, you have a kid? Yep, juggling three kids plus nursing school. Wow. What about you? No kids, right? No. Yeah, no kids, but we do have a dog, cat, and a bunny. Oh yeah, I have you on Instagram, so I see you post them all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they're a handful, but we love them. Speaking of Instagram, I noticed you don't follow me anymore. Oh, I got some weird, like, pyramid scheme messages from you. I figured you got hacked or something. Nope, that was me. Oh, well, are you still living in town? Yep, I lived in Arizona for a while, but moved back after Jace was born. What about you? Oh, I'm just in town visiting family. It's my dad's birthday. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, not much has changed around here. We got a new pizza restaurant. Yeah, I saw, but, um, we should get going. Okay, girl, well, don't be a stranger. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. What? She seems nice. No, she was, which is weird, but I don't know. Running into people from high school is just awkward. You 
ready to do this or what? Yeah, let's just get it over with. All right, I wrote down a script, so you can just go ahead and read this. Okay, cool. Hey guys, it's James. I'm a f who cheats on his girlfriend and still sleeps with stuffed animals? I'm not saying that. Why not? It's the truth. Samantha! What? Come on, let's just make the video. No, I knew you were gonna be like this. You know what? We're out of here. No, our fans need to know what's going on. They need closure. Closure? I just came home one day and all of my clothes were in the driveway. Yeah, so? And there was a note on the door that said, we're done, I'm in Mexico, don't call me. How am I supposed to get closure from that? Sorry, but guys who DM other girls don't deserve closure. Oh my god, I'm so using that for my next Instagram caption. Fine, but I'm throwing this away. Well, if we're not telling the world what really happened, then what should we even say? I don't know. We could say it's mutual. Mm, that's good. Like, pretend we're being super mature about it. Yes, very mature. Okay, go set the camera up. Okay, is it recording? Yeah, do I look buff? Yes, unfortunately. Sick, you ready? Hey guys, so some really sad news. Super sad. But James and I have decided mutually that we need some time apart. Not because we don't love each other, but because we need to grow as individuals and work on ourselves before we can love another person. We're still friends and we still- You know what? I can't do this. Yeah, screw this. Dixie D'Amelio, hit me up. Oh my god, did you hear that? It sounds like someone's in the house. Hey guys, sorry to bother you. <laughs> Baby, I need you to call 911. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna hurt you guys. Here, my name's John. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, so I'm a friendly criminal. Here's my card. A friendly criminal? Yeah, so unfortunately you are getting robbed, but I'm not gonna be a jerk about it. Oh my god, we're getting robbed. So, is there anything that you guys don't use anymore? An old PlayStation, some shoes that don't fit? Yeah, yes, there's a bag of old clothes that I was gonna take to Goodwill in the closet. Perfect, and it's already all bagged up for me. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Now please, get out. Okay. Oh my god. This bathtub is huge. Okay, can I be honest with you guys for a second? Sure. The whole reason I got into this home invasion stuff is because I'm building a house right now and I love getting inspiration from all the gorgeous homes in this area. What? Yeah, you became a criminal to get style inspo? Oh, no, no. I used to do commercial stuff. Robbing banks, ATMs, stuff like that. But that just felt so empty to me, you know? Plus, I love meeting new people like you guys. Oh my god, he's crazy. Oh my goodness, who's this? That's our dog, Peaches. Peaches, get him. You know, a house just isn't a home without a dog. I have a Pomeranian at home. Cool, but just so you know, we have an alarm system, so the cops are gonna be here like any minute. Seriously, man? Okay, well, here. What's this for? That's to buy a new window. I had to break one downstairs to get in. One dollar? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, do you mind if I grab the TV downstairs? Yeah, that's fine. What? No! Y'all are the best. Okay, bye. Bro, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know, why? Um, you've got a girlfriend. If I were you, I would make some plans. Oh, no, Lucy's not that type of girl. She doesn't care about all the dumb Valentine's Day stuff. Um, yeah, she does, trust me. No, she said we didn't have to do anything. They all say that, but believe me, I had to learn the hard way. What do you mean? So last year, I was dating Emma, right? Oh, I forgot about Emma. Yeah, Emma with the really nice personality. She was way out of your league. Shut up. So anyways, Valentine's Day comes around, and I was like, hey, you want to Netflix and chill? And she was like, yeah, that sounds good. But she showed up to my house in full makeup, wearing a dress, like she expected me to have some big surprise for her or something. Yeah, I thought he had something planned. I thought we'd just hang out like normal, but she spent the whole night showing me all the cute stuff that her friend's boyfriends got them. It was bad. He didn't even ask me to be his valentine. Whoa, was that why she broke up with you? No, she broke up with me because I accidentally killed her fish when she was out of town visiting her grandma. Right, okay, well, I need some ideas. What should I do? You can do anything, bro. Get her some flowers, chocolate, a handwritten note. It's really pretty easy to make him feel special on Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem too hard. It's not. Probably still not gonna do anything, though. Most of you guys have only ever seen me dressed up as one of my characters, but next week I'm <laughs> going on a cruise and I really need your help picking out some formal outfits. It's an eight day cruise and there's two formal nights, so I have a couple dresses I'm gonna try on for you guys. I should probably do the wig. <laughs> All right, option number one. Cute, but also the last time I wore this, I got into a car accident that totaled my car. Maybe some bad juju with this one. There's kind of a lot, so I'm just gonna go really fast. Also, all of the shoes that I'm wearing, I don't know what shoes to wear, so help me with that too. I think I hate this, but at the same time, it's kind of getting Taylor Swift, so. This one's pretty simple. Um, I would like to add some black sheer gloves, maybe. I don't know. I just found the dress that I wore to my freshman winter formal in like 2009. Not gonna wear this, but also, woo! All right, we've got this little number, very cute. And this one, next up, I really like this one. I'm trying out a little bit of color with this one, and it's like, yeah. I think this one is a bit too formal, but also, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I just need your top two answers, and keep in mind I'm gonna be dancing, like, a lot. You about ready to go? I just pulled up. Yeah, give me like five minutes. I accidentally overslept. I told you to set an alarm. I did, but I snoozed it a couple times. Okay, well, I'm gonna come in and use your bathroom. Okay. Hey. Whoa, nice hair. Yeah, it's been a couple days since I washed it, but that's why God invented dry shampoo, right? Is that what you're wearing? No, I was thinking maybe this. Never mind. Did you just smell check your shirt to see if it was clean or not? Yeah, doesn't everybody? Just please tell me you don't do that with your undergarments. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah, do you wanna make some breakfast real quick? Yeah, meet me in the kitchen when you're done. 
Okay, what do you want to make? You know, I was thinking maybe we could just order something. No, that'll take way too long. I really don't want to cook and make more dirty dishes. Yeah, they are piling up a bit. Okay, chill. My dishwasher's broken. Still? Maintenance hasn't came and fixed it yet? No, I mean, I haven't called them yet, but... Alicia, what? It's on my to-do list. Okay, let's just stop by the gas station and grab something. All right, Ben. Wait, are you gonna change? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab clothes out of my car. Your car? Yeah, I practically keep a whole wardrobe in my backseat just in case. Okay, weirdo. You're a weirdo. Hey, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'll be taking care of you today. Okay, great. I've just got a couple of questions for you. Okay, are you active? Like, lifting weights in the gym? God, no. No. Actually. Oh, in that case, yes. Okay, and is there any chance you could be pregnant? Ooh, I hope not. Okay, no. And when was the date of your last period? Ooh, give me a second. I know I was on it when I was at the mall because I had to ask that random lady for a tampon. So that was like last week, maybe? Do you have an exact date? No. And how many partners have you had in the last six months? This one, my boyfriend. Okay. Do you want to see a picture of him? Uh, sure. Sorry, that was a joke. I'm nervous. Oh, you'll be fine. If you can just scoot down to the edge of the table and put your feet in the stirrups. Okay. Oh, it's a little breezy. All right, you're going to feel some pressure, but this shouldn't hurt, okay? <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is fine, I'm fine. You're doing great, now just a little pinch. Yeah, son of a biscuit, what was that? Oh, that's your cervix. Do you wanna see? I can grab a mirror. No, I'm okay, I'll just Google it. All right, we're about done here. Do you have any questions? Yeah, um, how many patients do you see every day? Um, today I think I have like 15 appointments. Oh, that's a lot of hoo-ha. Yeah, hoo-ha's are my life, my passion. Okay, and do most people shave? Cause I didn't know what to do. I was like, is it rude if I don't? Or is it weird or if I do, you know? I think that's just up to personal preference. Okay, go ahead and sit back up for me. Oh, that's it? Yeah, pretty quick and easy. Okay, I'm gonna step out for a second, let you get dressed and I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Now, where did I put my underwear? Morning, sleepyhead. What time is it? Uh, 10.30. Dang it, we missed the continental breakfast. Those always suck anyways. Just eat the trail mix you have in your purse and then we can go get brunch somewhere. You mean this trail mix? Anyways, how'd you sleep last night? Bad. You know I never sleep well my first night in a new place. Same. And the AC was just like blasting me all night. I feel like I was in the Arctic. Well, it's a good thing we're at the beach. Yeah, for real. So, do you want to just get an Uber down to the pier and we can see if there's any good restaurants down there or something? Yeah, that sounds good. Honey, it's okay. It might warm up later in the day, right? I don't know, but there's a weatherman over there. I wonder what he has to say about it. Record snowfall continues to impact the South, causing dangerous driving conditions, businesses to close, and many upset tourists. Here's some now. Let's go get a word. Hi. Um, yeah, I guess you could say we're a little surprised. Uh, if I wanted to go skiing, I would have just stayed home, you know? But, uh, yeah, we're gonna make the most of it, I think. Right, honey? I mean, I guess it's kind of like that Taylor Swift song, Snow on a Beach, so that's cool. But, like, I only brought tank tops and swimsuits, so this sucks. Well, folks, you heard it here. This sucks. Now, back to you, Tim. Ugh, babe, this vacation's a disaster. Hey, at least you gotta be on the news. That was always a dream of yours, right? Yeah, I guess, but what do we do now? I don't know. Let's just get back inside, order some food, and make a game plan, okay? Okay. Do you have the room key? No, I thought you had it. Mom, watch this. Wow. wow, very cool. Yeah, Timmy taught me how to do it at recess. Oh, is Timmy a new friend? No, he smells like pepperonis. Oh, well, you can still be his friend. No, he said the coolest dinosaur is the T-Rex, when it's obviously the Velociraptor. Oof, yeah, can't argue with you there. You want to play dinosaurs with me? Maybe in a minute. Mommy's got to go cook some dinner real quick. Fine. Why don't you go play outside for a little bit? Okay. Honey, dinner's ready. But I already ate. You already ate? Yeah, I made a delicious soup. Look. Mmm, looks yummy, but it's time to come inside and wash up, okay? Okay, here's how fast I am. Did you wash your hands? Yes, mom. <laughs> okay, um, dad should be home soon. Are you excited to give him the painting you made in class today? Yeah, it's a really cool painting. It sure is. Um, what's that? Oh, it's me and dad and then you and a bear. Why does the bear have my arm in its mouth? Oh, because yesterday dad said you act like a hungry bear when you don't have coffee. Oh, did he now? Yeah. And it looks like I'm crying. Mm, because you cry a lot. And that's your purse and that's your big belly. Mm, I love it. Very accurate. Oh, thanks, mom. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. I see you dyed your hair. Yeah, I just thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Nice. Well, what else has single you been up to? Oh, just the usual. Going to the gym, journaling. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're going to the gym? Yeah, you want my glute workout? I thought you hated all physical activity that isn't eating or sex. Oh, that's the old me. I'm in my healthy girl growth, yes queen slay era. Hey, good for you. Yeah, Zac Efron liked a picture of me on Instagram. No, he didn't. I'm being so serious. You know, I kind of had an idea that you and Brad broke up when you started posting on your story all the time. Yeah, I post every day, but Brad still hasn't looked at any of my stories. Hey, snap out of it. You're not posting so that Brad sees it and regrets being a bad boyfriend or whatever. You're posting because you're hot and the world deserves to see it. Uh, no, I'm posting so that Brad sees that and realizes how bad he messed up. I mean, I can't blame you, but what happened to the whole healthy, happy, single girl thing? I don't know. Some days I want to meditate and and other days, I just want to stay up till 3 a.m. and Instagram stalk the new girl he's talking to while eating a bucket of Ben and Jerry's. You know, that's fair. It is? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have good and bad days, but as long as you're still moving forward, I think you're good. Damn, okay. Just maybe cool it on dyeing your hair for a while. Are you sure? I was thinking about going dark with bangs. Hey, do you want to hang out today? I wish. I have to work. No, call in sick or something. I can't. I've already had food poisoning twice this month. I'd totally get fired. You know what? F that job. Let's just go live in a van like those people in that TikTok I sent you. Yeah, no offense to those people, but I'd rather have diarrhea every day for the rest of my life than 
couldn't live in a van with no shower. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to keep up with my skincare routine. You're still doing that? I'm lucky if I even wash my face every day. And somehow you still have amazing skin. I don't know, genetics, I guess? You're so lucky. Lucky? Remember, these genetics also gave me no no and severe depression. You can just buy those things now. Yeah, with my job that pays 15 an hour. Touche, but you don't need those big old things. You're still a catch. Thanks. Have you been talking to anyone new lately or are you still hung up on your ex from high school? Damn, why you gotta call me out like that? But no, I haven't been seeing anybody. That's fair. I mean, I've dated so many people this year. I might as well just be on The Bachelorette. Yeah, for real. Maybe I should take a page out of your book and cool it for a while. Who knows? Not me. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Ever. You know, I think it's just part of being in your 20s. Hopefully. Ooh, I just got a new match on Tinder. Okay, have fun with that. I gotta get to work. Hey, can you look at this bump on my back? Yeah, it looks like a zit or an ingrown hair, maybe. Are you sure? I think it might be a spider bite or something. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh my god, I've been getting those headaches, too. I wonder if it has something to do with this. You get headaches because you don't drink enough water. I drink plenty, okay? But there's something going on with these headaches. I know it. Okay, whatever you say. I'm serious. I saw this girl on TikTok who had a really bad headache, so she got an MRI. Boom, brain cancer. Okay, sure, sometimes a headache means brain cancer, but that's not what's happening with you. Statistically speaking, there's about a 1% chance that it is. I Google it. Pretty sure that's not true, but you've got to stop Googling things. I will, just one second. What if I'm pregnant? Well, that would explain the mood swings and irritability. No, seriously, when was my last period? Don't look at me, it's not my hoo-ha. Oh, I think I'm late. Oh my god, and now I have a rash. Yeah, that's not a rash. It looks like the meningitis rash. No, it looks like marks from the carpet. Were you napping with the cat on the floor again? Maybe. I wish I had a body like Kim Kardashian. Whoa. Babe? Babe, look. Ah, what happened to you? What do you mean? You don't like it? No, you look good, but how? I don't know. It was magic or something. Magic? Yes, look. Magic. Make me a sandwich. What? I promise it worked. Try snapping your fingers or something. Okay, magic. Make me a sandwich. Whoa, make me one. Okay, magic sandwich. Oh my god. Ugh, peanut butter and pickle? What? It's good. Okay, I gotta go. Magic, I think I want a cat. Oh, sweet. Mm, I want a new purse. <laughs> no way. Magic, I want to meet Jenna Ortega. Hi, oh my god. Honey? Whoa, hi Jenna. Hi. So I've been thinking, maybe you should use your powers for good, like, I don't know, end world hunger or something? Right, okay, bye Jenna. Bye. Hi, I'm Elon Musk. Hey, listen dude, we need to talk. Okay, let's talk. It's about world hunger. Ooh. Where'd he go? Looks like Elon has magic powers too. Damn, well, if we can't solve world hunger, then what do you want to do today? I don't know, you want to go to Paris? Uh, yeah, magic, take us to Paris. Hey, what are you doing tonight for the purge? <laughs> Wait, that was for real? Uh, yeah, dude, I sent you a news broadcast about it like last week. I thought that was a skit from Saturday Night Live. Nope, very real, and it starts in about two hours. I'd make a plan if I were you. Shit, I gotta go. Babe? What? Apparently that purge thing is real, and it's tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been preparing for months. Oh, thank God. I should have known you're such a Libra. Here, help me board up these windows. Wait. What? My landlord said no holes in the walls. Do we have any of those sticky hook things, maybe? No, I don't have any sticky hooks. Okay, you're right, you're right. Here, thanks. Who knows what kind of crazies are gonna be out there tonight? Yeah, do you happen to know anybody who's going out and, like, looting stuff tonight? I think Josh and his brother are. Oh, do you think they could swing by Ulta for me? Alicia! Wait, I'm just saying. Ugh, we're running out of time. Here, take a look at my to-do list and let me know if I missed anything. Okay, set up alarm system, secure safe room. Oh, what? Can we bring down my mini fridge to the safe room so we have snacks? Seriously? What? You know I get snacky when I'm stressed. Okay, fine. Oh, and the TV, maybe. I need to catch up on Love is Blind. Babe, aren't you scared, like, at all? Yeah, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't think there's anyone out there that hates me enough to want me, like, you know? About your old Spanish teacher. Okay, she definitely had it out for me. <gasps> or what about that old lady who cussed me out on Facebook Marketplace? Oh, God! Look, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Babe, I'm scared. Well, don't be scared yet. The purge just started. Nothing's even happening yet. <laughs> Okay, let's head to the safe room. Good idea. Hey, where's the dog? <gasps> oh my god, I let her outside to go potty one last time and I forgot to let her back in. No, what is wrong with you? Well, I'm a bit stressed right now with all the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber drama and now the purge. So I'm sorry if I'm not perfect. It's fine, let's just go find her before things get bad. Okay, you stay here and guard the door. I'm gonna go find her. Okay, we should make a code word in case there's like a killer clown or something. Okay, how about pineapples? No, how about caca? Okay, and if you see anyone who isn't me, close the door and get to the safe room. But then you'll be stuck outside. No, there's a code to open the door that only I know. So I'll be fine. Okay, go find her. Okay, is that from the hunger thing? Babe! Babe! Shh, 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 shh. Marco! Hello! Wait. Marco. Dear God, I'm sorry that I stole that chapstick from Walmart in 2013, and I'm sorry that I told my little brother that he looks like Miss Piggy, and oh my God, I'm not ready to die. I'm too pretty to die. You can run, but you can't hide. Kaka! Peaches! How's your purge going so far? Um, not very good. Why? What's going on? Well, for starters, I'm outside and there's like a six foot two murderer trying to kill me. Oh, six two? Did you see what he looked like? No, I didn't see what he looked like. I'm too busy trying not to get killed. Right. Wait, where's your boyfriend? He's out here somewhere too. We were looking for the dog and now thanks to his super fancy security system, I'm locked out. Shut 
Yeah, hey, I gotta go. Ah! Uh, Please don't kill me. Kill you? I'm just trying to find my brother Marco. Oh, thank God. Don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. I'm Anthony. What's your name? Alicia! Hey, what are you doing? I'm saving your life from Freddy Krueger over here. What does it look like I'm doing? His name's Anthony, and he's just out here trying to find his brother. It's true. My brother wanted to use the purge to steal a bunch of stuff from Target for his girlfriend. Oh, that is so romantic. Seriously? What? It is. Anyways, I don't want to leave him out here all alone. He skips leg day, so he's going to be pretty easy to catch. Uh-oh. What? I just got a text from a random number that said 10 minutes. Can't wait to see you. Well, who could it be? Let me do a reverse number search real quick. Wait, where'd you learn how to do that? Um, haven't you ever watched Catfish, the TV show? No? Who is it? It's your ex-girlfriend. Oh no, we better get inside. You coming, Anthony? No, friends. I have to go find Marco. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. What is it with the Hunger Games references today? Hey, babe, are you doing okay? No, I'm not doing okay. There's crazy people running around outside, and we ran out of toilet paper, so I just had to wipe with the cardboard bark. Oh, wait, how do you know there's people outside? I thought I boarded up all the windows. Look at the doorbell cam. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, and also don't forget your ex-girlfriend's on our way over here right now to try to purge me. Babe, I won't let anything happen to you, I promise. Okay, so if you had to kiss your ex to save my life, would you do it? Of course. Ew, no. Okay, that was a trap. No, it's fine. Hey guys. Oh, I can't believe I made it here. You would not believe what's going on outside. Oh my god, what do we do? Savannah, go away. What? I just want to talk. Let me in. Talk to your therapist. Damn, okay, well, do you want to go to the safe room and watch the new Avatar movie or something? Yeah, one second. It's saying the alarm system was disabled. Wait, how's that even possible? I don't know, but that means if someone does get in the house, we probably won't even know until it's too late. Let's go to the safe room. Okay, I need you to listen to me carefully. I'm listening. If I die, I want all of my money to go to my pets. Of course. Also, I'm gonna need you to update my social media and delete my search history. Why? Is there something bad? Oh, but it's kind of embarrassing. Look, okay, why is my poop green? Signs you might be bipolar. What is... Oh my god. Yeah. What was that? It sounds like somebody's in the house. I'm gonna go check it out. No. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I let myself in. Guys, have it so easy. No, we don't. Yeah, you do. I wish I could be a boy for a day. I don't know, but this is awesome. Okay, I gotta go. Yes. Dang it, I forgot to get more conditioner. Here, just use my five-in-one shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste. Oh, heck yeah. That was the quickest shower of my entire life. Have you tried the thing yet? What thing? This thing. Oh my god, I've always wanted to do this. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, but hey, I'm gonna go for a walk. Right now? Why? Because I can without having to worry about ending up on an episode of Dateline. Valid, you want your pepper spray? No thanks. And I don't think I'll be needing this. It's getting kind of hot outside. Hey, how was it? Amazing. I got kind of hungry on my walk, so I stopped at a food truck and get this. I ate seven tacos, and I'm not even bloated. Like, I still have a six-pack right now. Nice. But I've got to go number two real bad now, so excuse me. Hey, weird question, but where do I put it while I go? Do I just let it dangle or what? I don't know. Just do what feels natural. Okay. Oof, do not go in there. Bad one? Yeah, maybe I don't want to be a boy. Shh. No, change me back. There's still so much I want to try. I am so tired of being a woman. It can't be that bad. I wish I could be a woman for a day just to prove that you guys are being wimps. Ah! Ah! What did you do? I don't know, but this is awesome. I gotta go. Okay, I get what you guys are saying. This really is inconvenient. Wait, wait, wipe front to back or you'll give yourself a UTI. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm bleeding. Oh, lovely. You're on your period. Oh, is that why I feel so tired? Yeah, probably. Here. I don't know how to do that. Can you do it for me? No, just roll up some toilet paper and put it in your pants. Then we can go to the store and get you some pads, okay? Okay, just let me shower real quick first. Hey, what's taking you so long? I'm hurrying, but I had to shave, blow dry my hair, put on makeup. Plus, I just stared at my b****s for like an hour in the mirror. Now do you see why it takes us so long to get ready? Yeah, I can't believe you guys have to do this all the time. Most of the time, yeah, because our boyfriends complain when we have stubbly legs and stuff. Genuinely, I am so sorry. <sighs> My back is killing me. Mm, I see your cramps have set in. I'll go get you some Advil and then we can go to the store. No, can you just go? I'm on my period too. You're fine. Come on, let's go. Okay. We're gonna need to stop and get some gas first. It's fine. I'll just get some tonight when I go to the gym. Mm, you're gonna stop and get gas at night by yourself? Yeah, why wouldn't I? No, I mean, you can. Just make sure you have your pepper spray ready in case someone tries to get you. Oh, I'd love to see someone try. Look. You don't want to mess with me. Okay, whatever you say. What you looking at? Oh, well, I had a lady question, but my Wi-Fi's not working. Oh, I might be able to answer it for you. Okay, um, what's a pap schmear? Pap smear, you mean? Schmear is what you put on your bagels. Oh. And basically, it's just a checkup you get every couple years where they take this big toothbrush-looking thing and they just, like, stick it in your- Okay, that's enough. Maybe I don't want to be a girl. Oh, thank God. You gotta admit, I was kind of cute as a girl, though. Hey, Mom, can you come get me? Why? What's going on? I'm having the worst purge of my life. Well, let me ask your dad, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to wait until after the purge. You know the doors in my minivan don't even lock. Mom, there is a crazy lady in my house right now trying to murder me. I can't just wait. Well, why didn't you leave with that? Because, Mom, I'm a little bit stressed right now, and you know I don't communicate well under pressure. Have you tried meditating? No, I haven't tried meditating. Well, where's your boyfriend? <gasps> Did he leave you for that pretty redhead that he works with? No, what? He's right here. 
Hi, Mrs. Smith. Hey, mom, I gotta go. Okay, listen, if I die, please make sure someone fills in my eyebrows for the funeral, okay? I love you. Honey, our baby's in trouble. Mr. Whiskers, where is he? Meow. No, our human child. Okay, you grab the supplies. I'm gonna grab our disguises. I'm coming, baby. Are your parents coming to get us? No, I don't think so. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm gonna die before I can watch the next season of The Bachelor. I'm sorry, babe, this is all my fault. Yeah. What are you writing? Nothing. Oh, my God, you have a pros and cons list for me? Maybe, but I was adding apologizes when he's wrong under the pros list. Yeah, but look at the cons list. Really sweaty. Likes country music. Long toenails. What? What? Okay, you really should cut your toenails. But there are way more pros than cons. I just can't believe you made a list about me. What if I did that to you? Easy. Pro. Super smart. Great. Hilarious. Cons. Snores. Can't make her own doctor's appointment. Thinks Leonardo DiCaprio's the best actor. He is! Whatever. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but can we please not fight right now? If these are our last moments together, I want them to be special. They are special, babe, but I built this safe room good. There's no way she'll get in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless she guesses the past code on the door. Well, what is it? My birthday? This is your deranged ex-girlfriend we're talking about. She already walked across town in the middle of the purge, broke into our house, and you think she's not gonna be able to guess that the passcode is your birthday? I'm sorry. <sighs> Crap, she's at the door. Hide. As a 26-year-old woman, I think I do a pretty good job of looking like a middle school boy, but today I'm gonna try to make myself look as hot as I can because I never do that, so let's get hot. I'm gonna keep it very real with you guys. I don't really know what I'm doing. I watch all the makeup tutorials and stuff, but okay, I'm doing foundation first. Is that my color? I don't know. Okay, I just did my brows. I feel like I was having a bad brow day, but this is what my eyebrows looked like in my senior pictures, so at least it's an improvement from that. Blush. I like lots of it. I should not be trusted with eyeliner, so I'm just gonna do a little boop with the darker color here. Okay, they're a little bit wonky, but I'm pretty sure my eyes just look like that. Normally, I just put Aquaphor on my eyelashes, but since we're being fancy today. Okay, gorgeous lips. I just got majorly distracted for a while. Go watch my Instagram story, but I'm gonna do my hair and get changed and maybe reveal time. This is the weirdest video I've ever done. Here's the before. Gorgeous, lovely, amazing. And after. I feel weird, guys. Back to the skit tomorrow. I wish I had big muscles like the Hulk. Oh my god, babe. Babe, look. Ah, what did you do? What do you mean? Do you not like it? I'm freaking yak. Well, I mean, you look like Magic Mike, but how? I don't know. It was magic. Magic? Oh, no. Thank you for calling the Mountain County Psychiatric Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, yes. I just need to drop off my boyfriend. Dude, I'm not crazy. I promise. Look. Alakazam! Babe, it's okay. When my sister was little, she thought that she saw our dead aunt in her bedroom at night. Okay, and? And we got her the help she needed, just like we're gonna get for you, babe. No, ugh, sometimes I wish you had a mute button. Oh, never mind. I wish you had your voice again. Oh my god, what was that for? Well, do you believe me now? Uh, yeah, but what the hell, man? Okay, uh, I'll be back later. I wish I could do a backflip. I wish I had a new car. What, a sick of Ferrari? Hey, babe. What's up? So I was thinking, maybe you should use your powers to do something good. Oh, yeah, like end homelessness? That too, but I was thinking maybe you could, like, poof a celebrity here or something. Mm, yes, okay, I wish Megan Fox was- Yeah, no. Okay, I wish Tom Brady was here. And oh my god, dude, you're like a legend. Oh, thanks, brother. Here, would you like a Super Bowl ring? Yeah, dude, oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, babe, can you poof Taylor Swift here? No, not right now. Please, I will do anything you want. Okay, I want to meet Megan Fox. Fine. Mom, you posted a picture of the cat's butt on your Facebook status. Yeah, Sprinkles has worms again. Wait, wait, you posted that on purpose? Hey, people give great advice on Facebook. Dad, you good? No, I can't figure out this goddamn remote. Here, what do you need? We're trying to change the TV setting so we can watch a movie. Okay, is it on Netflix? No, we have it on DVD. Mom, a DVD? Are we living in the Stone Age or something? If so, find me a caveman because... What, we have a whole bookshelf full of movies in the basement. Are we just not supposed to watch them? No, you're right. You know, when I was a boy, we only had two channels on our television. And did you walk 10 miles uphill both ways to school? <gasps> How do you know? Okay, I gotta go or I'm gonna be late for my date. <gasps> a date? Huh, who's the lucky lad? Um, his name is Sam. <gasps> he sounds cute. Where'd you guys meet? Oh, it's a Tinder date, so we actually haven't met before. Tinder? What in the heck is a Tinder? It's like an app, dad. Oh, for crying out loud, why can't you kids just date the normal way? I think it sounds kind of fun. Well, if it sounds so fun, then why don't you just do it then, Martha? Okay, that sounds like my cue to leave. Love you. Call me when you get there so I know you're safe. Okay, I'll text you. Okay, babe, take this. What am I supposed to do with a dirty mop? Use it to protect yourself. How? Have you seen the movie Mulan? Dad, it's the best princess movie of all time. Well, do you remember how they used those big sticks while they were training? Oh, like this? Exactly. You know I hate conflict. This is a life or death situation here. I'm just manifesting that the crazy lady trying to kill us doesn't get through the door. Well, me too, but don't forget that the crazy lady at the door is my ex-girlfriend and the code is my birthday. Did you just say the code is your birthday? Crap, she heard me. I swear to God, you are so bad at whispering. Hey, well, sorry I'm not perfect. Hey, guys. Dude, why are you doing this? Because you won't text me back and it's all her fault. Me? No, I won't text you back because we broke up like a year and a half ago. Well, I never- 
never gave you permission to break up with me. That's not how it works. Be in your sad girl era or whatever, but him and I are soulmates. We were always gonna end up together. You think we're soulmates? Yeah, I know we are. <gasps> Watch out! All right, say goodbye to lover boy. <laughs> Why didn't you text me back last night? Sorry, my parents took my phone. Again? What'd you do? Nothing. My dad found out I have a C in math class and was like, A C plus in algebra? That is unacceptable. Seriously? I feel like they get mad at you about everything. Like, that time they caught us watching an R-rated movie. I know, and it wasn't even that bad. Or that one time we wanted to go swimming, but your mom told you you had to clean your room first. And I just shoved everything in my closet, but I did like a really bad job. So then the next day when she opened my closet, clothes just fell all over her. Alicia Marie? Wait, why was she going in your closet anyways? Like, hello, some privacy, please. I don't know. But anyways, last night my dad was acting all pissed because I have a C in math class, so I was like, Dad, when am I ever gonna use algebra in real life? Well, you know, there's... There, there's a lot of things, okay? And that stumped him. So then I was like, see, it's literally pointless. And he couldn't stand that I was right. So he was all, enough with the attitude. Give me your phone. And that's how I lost my phone. Jeez, you know, my parents are just happy that I didn't drop out like my sister. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, are you ready for the history test today? Yeah, kind of. Wait, that's today? Uh, yeah, did you study? No, I totally forgot. And it's for Mr. Wilson's class and his tests are like kind of hard. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really hard. That's what she said. <sighs> Grow up. So what do you do after school if you're not studying? I don't know. Lots of stuff. Like, hey guys, hey, back up. I need Dang it! Okay, one more game. You're a gamer? Uh, yeah, but that doesn't matter, guys. I'm screwed. Not necessarily. I've got some tricks that work, like, every time, okay? All right, you guys have fun. I gotta go to the bathroom. Again? I get nervous poops, and I have to do good on this test, or my dad's gonna take my car away again. Okay, go. But anyways, we have, like, 30 minutes until class starts, so we've gotta get a move on it. All right, do you have flashcards or something? I do, but first, write down all the answers on this piece of paper. Okay, why? I don't know. Writing stuff down just helps your brain remember. Oh, and make sure you write as small as you can. Why? So you can tape it to the bottom of your shoe in case you forget something during the test. No, I can't cheat. Okay, well, then we've just gotta cram. Cram? Yeah, cram all of this into your brain and you won't retain it for long But hopefully you can remember it long after you get through the test Okay, and you think this will work? Maybe and remember if it's multiple choice read the questions carefully because half the time Like only two of the answers will even remotely make sense. <sighs> Trust me guys do not go in there in the boys bathroom Yeah, I wasn't really planning on it. Hey, shh, I'm trying to study babe. Have you seen my gray hoodie? What it's comfy if you keep stealing all my favorite shirts We're gonna have a problem. You hear me? Shut up. Babe, what's going on? Nothing I was just thinking about how your ex-girlfriend probably wore this sweatshirt too and now my tummy hurts. Babe I know I'm just being emo because I'm about to start my period. Again? I feel like you were just on it. Nope, it's time. Remember my last period was last month when we were at my parents' house? Oh my god, yes. I was doing my hair and you came running in the room and were like, oh my god, my parents' dog just ate my tampon out of the garbage can. Yeah, traumatic. And I have to do this once a month till I'm like 60. Ugh, you guys have it so easy. No, we don't. Uh, yeah, you do. Hey, let's go into town and get a little treat. Okay, like what? I don't know. Boba tea, froyo, coffee. Ooh, froyo sounds good. Oh, it's okay. I can drive. Are you sure? I really don't mind. Why don't you ever want me to drive? It's not like I'm a bad driver or something. <laughs> I'm a better driver than you? Absolutely not, but you can drive if you want, okay? Oh my god, there's a cat. Oh yeah, I think it's the neighbors. No, what if it's a stray? We have to keep it. Alicia, this cat definitely belongs to somebody. Okay, but if it's still in our yard when we get back, we're keeping it. No, look at him. I can't believe it's almost homecoming. I know, right? Do you have a date to the homecoming dance yet? No, I don't know who to ask. Have you asked your super swagalicious girlfriend, Lexi, yet? No, I have a couple ideas, but I want it to be perfect this time. Bro, I remember when we were in middle school and you asked her like, Hey, Lexi, <gasps> it would be baller. If you would go to the dance with me. Shut up, bro. I was nervous, but not anymore. We've been dating for like a year, so obviously we're gonna go together. Yo, why is there a crowd in the hallway? Oh my god, is that Trent? Yeah, ew. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, Lexi, in front of the whole school, I just wanna ask you. You wanna go to the homecoming dance with me? Yo, are you gonna do something? Luke, dude. No, I mean, she's gonna say no, right? Right. So, what do you say? Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds fun. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> What's up, Lucan? Hey, where are you going? I don't know, but why'd she say yes, dude? I'm her boyfriend. Come on, you know she only said yes because you guys have that super evil mean girls plan or whatever. I know, the whole point was for her to get close to Trent and all the popular kids to give us intel, but see, this could actually be a good thing. I know, it's just lately I feel like she's not even pretending to like them anymore and she's actually starting to turn into one of them. It's Lexi, bro. She loves you and she's a nice person. See, look, she's going over to talk to little Timmy right now. Hey, Timmy. Oh, hi, Lexi. What's that over there? Haha, <laughs> nerd. Hey, my glasses. Oh my god. Damn. That's it. It's time for an intervention. Hey, what are you doing? You've been stealing the blankets every night, so I'm just grabbing some extras. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, you do. Last night, I woke up freezing on the edge of the bed, and I looked over at you, and you were all... <laughs> what? 
ever. Can I use your chapstick? Where's yours? I don't know. I can't find it. Didn't you just buy like a big multi-pack of them? Yeah, but one of them melted in my car and I'm pretty sure I lost the other two, so. Fine. What are you doing? Ugh, just setting my alarms for tomorrow. Why not just wake up to the first one? My body needs time to wake up, okay? So it takes like at least three of these. And these ones are just in case, like in case I fall back asleep. Have you always been like that? Well, I guess when I was a kid, my mom would wake me up like, good morning, sunshine. And then I'd be like, no, five more minutes. And five minutes later, she'd come back in and very sweetly say, okay, honey, you really have to get up for school now. We're going to be late. But I hated mornings. So usually at this point, I would hide under the covers and then she'd come back in my room with a cup of water and throw it all over me. Jeez. Dude, you made the chapstick all pointy again. What are you talking about? You always put it on like this. And then it makes the tip all weird and pointy. Whatever, you wanna watch our cooking show? Yeah. No falling asleep though, you promise? I promise. <sighs> oh my god, I can't believe you're going to the homecoming dance with Trent. I know, right? What does Luke M think? I don't know, I haven't talked to him yet, but I'm sure he's okay. Bro, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Not? God, I feel like such a loser. Come on, you're not a loser. Oh, really? Because my girlfriend's going to the homecoming dance with the most popular kid in school and it's all my fault. What do you mean? She's only going with him because of our stupid evil plan. So you're only going to the dance with him because of your evil plan to get close with Trent and all the popular kids, right? Yeah, for sure. But like, don't tell anyone this, but Trent's dad is renting us a limo. So I mean, that's kind of a step up from Luke M's mom's minivan. Seriously? What? Nothing. It's just the whole point of this plan was for you to get close to Trent and all the mean popular kids so that we could take him down and they would stop bothering us. And, and what? And you're starting to act just like them. Uh, yeah, I'm acting. I don't think you have to anymore. Whatever, you're just jealous. <laughs> Excuse me? Like, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault they think you guys are weirdos. You know, we may be weird, but at least we're not mean. Whatever. You know what, Lexi? I'm gonna tell Luke M what you said, and I'm also gonna suggest that he gets his own date to go to the homecoming dance with. Wait, what? Yeah, him and Drew were just gonna go as friends, but I'm sure there are plenty of girls who would love to go with him. After all, he is the dreamiest guy in school. Or have you forgotten? Ugh, you're such a B-word. Oh, look, there's Luke M right now. Wait, he looks sad. Uh, yeah, go talk to him or I will. Fine. Oh, Luca, I can't believe Trent asked me to go to the homecoming dance with him. I know, right? And you said yes. Babe, I had to. Remember our plan? I know. The whole point of our super evil mean girls plan was for you to get close to Trent and all the popular kids, but maybe not this close, you know? Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, he wants you to ditch Trent and go to the dance with him. Cassie, can you give us a moment, please? No, she's right. I want you to go to the dance with me. But what about our plan? Screw the plan. Yes, Trent's a bully. And yes, I would love to take him down and take his spot as basketball team captain, but it's just not worth it. Okay, so the plan's off, but I can't just ditch him like a week before the dance. Seriously? Lexi, be honest with me. Do you actually like Trent and his super cool hair and his cool muscles? No, of course not. She likes his dad's money. <laughs> Excuse me? You literally said, don't tell anyone this, but Trent's dad is renting us a limo. So, I mean, that's kind of a step up from Luke M's mom's minivan. Yeah, and I said, don't tell anyone. God, thanks a lot, Cassie. You know what, Lexi? Maybe you do belong with the popular kids. I thought you were different, but... I am different. I want the old Lexi back. The Lexi who would break it down on the dance floor and who supported me no matter what. Luke M, I'm still the same person. You guys are just over reacting. Just go to the dance with Trent and his fancy limo, okay? We we need some space anyways. Wait, what does that mean? I think you just got dumped. Who are you and why are you listening to our conversation? Hey, do you want- Dude, take off my hoodie. No, you said I could borrow it. Uh, yeah, like a month ago. I've been looking everywhere for it. You wear my stuff all the time. Like, those are my socks. Are not. Mom got these for me when we were in Denver. Whatever. God, I'm so over today. Wait, are you crying? No. <laughs> okay, maybe yes, I am crying, but I just found out that Jake has been Snapchatting other girls. Oh, Mm, I can't wait to get my hands on him. Chill, I've got it handled, okay? Ugh. Sorry, you know I'm protective over you. I know, but hey, if you really want to help, can you go grab my leftover pizza in the fridge? Yeah, about that. You ate it? Sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. And how are you gonna do that? I don't know, I could clean your room for you. Ew, no, I don't want you touching my stuff. Fine, but you should clean your room anyways. It's starting to look like Shrek's swamp up in here. I hate you. You love me, and I'm serious about my hoodie. Hey, uh, mom wants you to go change the laundry. I'm busy, why can't you just do it? Cause she asked you to. Fine, give me a second. Why are you wearing a tank top? It's like below freezing outside. I'm going to the gym. The gym? Oh yeah, it's freaking game season, bro. Let's be real, I could probably outlift you. Could not, I'm freaking yacked. You know, for as often as I see you flexing in the mirror, you should be. Shut up, at least I don't practice TikTok dances in the mirror. That was one time and I should have went viral. That video freaking slayed. Yeah, you totally slayed, not. Jackson, I'm not gonna ask you again. Get downstairs and do the laundry. You lying son of a- Mom, Alicia said a bad word. Shut up, you're such a tattletale. Hey, you two, cut it out. And Alicia, watch your mouth. He started it. I don't care who started it. I'm ending it right now. Dude, what's your deal been lately? Nothing, you'll just make fun of me. No, I won't. Fine, well, you know that girl I've been talking to, Stella? Yeah? Well, she pretty much broke up with me yesterday. Why, did she find your rock collection or something? No, she said she got the ick when she walked in my bedroom and saw my cardboard cutout of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yikes. And she said I wear too much cologne. Is that even possible? I mean... And then she just dumped me in front of all of her friends. What a Hey, that's strike two and you laundry now. 
Oh, Lexi, I can't believe the homecoming dance is tomorrow. I know, right? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just this morning, Trent came up to me and was like, Yo, Lexi, I know we were supposed to go to the dance together and all, but I decided I'm gonna take Deb instead. And I was like, Deb? Yeah, you know, double D, Deborah. What a jerk. Oh my God, what did Luke M say? I haven't told him yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh my God, he's gonna be stoked. Yeah, I doubt it. He freaking broke up with me, remember? Yes, and you deserved it, honestly. You were being a huge B word, but if I can forgive you, so can he. Well, speak of the devil, there's Luke M now and looking dreamy as ever. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to him. How do I look? Um, Lexi, you're gonna wanna see this. Hey, Skylar. Yeah? I know we don't talk or anything, but I think it would be a ball if we went to the homecoming dance together. What? What? What the f***? Knock, knock. Hey, girlies. Mom, get out. What? I just wanted to check on my mini-me. Okay, well, I'm good, but we're kind of in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, Miss Johnson. Ooh, what are we talking about? Nothing. It's private. Ooh, I smell gossip. Hashtag girl talk. No, this is serious, but it's not really my place to talk about it. Oh. Yeah, so my mom kicked me out of the house. <gasps> you know, when I was 16, I got kicked out? What? Grandma and grandpa kicked you out? Why? Let's just say I was a bit of an H-O-E, a hoe. And you know, grandpa's a pastor, so one night I got caught sneaking Jimmy Turner in my room, and it was all downhill from there. Awesome. Ew, mom. What? There's nothing wrong with being a confident woman. That's actually what I captioned my last Instagram post. Here, look. Oh my God, how do you have so many followers? I don't know, I guess you just have a super cool mom like here look at this so cool like honey go tell your friends to follow hot mama underscore one right now yeah i'm not gonna do that okay suit yourself but more importantly love where are you staying i've kind of just been staying at different friends houses okay well you're staying here now really yeah i'll turn my husband's office into a room for you or something are you sure yeah dad's gonna be mad who cares you know the saying chicks before Ooh, i'm running late to my pilates class i'll catch you guys later Yo, Luke M, I can't believe you're going to the homecoming dance with Skylar. I know, right? She seems cool, but like, she low-key scares me. Why? Because she's a little bit emo? No, dude. Last month, we got assigned to be lab partners in science class, and she was all like, do you think we get to dissect pigs this year? So what? Maybe she's just really into science-y stuff. I don't know. I don't really know her that well. Ooh, let's call her. And say what? I don't know. We can just talk and get to know her a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey Skylar, it's Luke M. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, put it on speaker. Oh, nothing, just getting ready for the dance. How about you? Same, just jam into some Paramore while I do my makeup. Oh, you like Paramore? Are you kidding me? I love Paramore, and I just got tickets to see them on the beach at adjacent music festival. No freaking way. Yeah, you should come. It's May 27th and 28th. That's Lexi's birthday. Bro, snap out of it. What? Oh my god. What, dude? Yo, Skylar, Blink 182 is gonna be at the festival? Yeah, dude, the lineup is insane, and tickets just went on sale. Go look it up, adjacent music festival. Okay, we will. Hey, what time should we pick you up tonight? My mom keeps asking. I should be ready in like an hour. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, and what's your favorite type of flower? A lily. Why? No reason. I'll see you tonight, okay? Yo, it's Luke M, and welcome to a day in my life. Usually my mom wakes me up at like 7.30. Good morning, pumpkin. But I'm up early because today's the homecoming dance, and I have a ton of stuff to do. Mom, the cat threw up on my dress shirt. For breakfast, I'm having taquitos and some leftover Halloween candy, but don't tell my mom. Speaking of my mom, the one thing I never leave my house without is a hug from my mom and dad. And your inhaler. The poor boy has the worst case of asthma. I'm talking one flight of stairs, and he is huffing and puffing. Mom! Anyways, I used to leave the house early so I could chillax with my girlfriend Lexi before class, but since we broke up, I guess I'll just take another poop to waste some time. Honey, we need to go. Alright, well, I'm off to school. So school was extra lame today, but basketball practice got canceled, so I'm headed straight home now to get ready for the dance. Hold up one sec. Hello? Hey, what time should I come over to get ready? Right now, bro, my mom said she's making chicken nuggets, so if you hurry, I'll save you some, okay? Sorry, this is my best friend, Drew. Drew's the best. He's always got my back, and he's gonna help me do my hair tonight. All right, guys, we're all shnazzed up for the dance. All that's left to do is pregame with an energy drink and a string cheese. <gasps> Ooh, let me get some pictures of you two real quick. Mom! <gasps> oh my god, I forgot to pick up flowers for my date, Skylar. Oh, we'll just stop by the store on our way to pick her up. She likes lilies, Mom. Do they have lilies at the store? I think so. <sighs> all right, well, I'll let you know how the dance goes, but I gotta run. Okay, peace. Oh, Lexi, I can't believe we're at the homecoming dance. I know, right? And look, there's Luke M and his super hot date, Skylar. Oof, yikes, are you jealous? Of course I'm jealous. Luke M was my boyfriend for like a year, and now he's here with some random girl, and look, she's totally flirting with him. Hey, dude, I just want to say that I'm having a really good time. Yeah, same. I was so sad that I couldn't go with my girlfriend because she goes to a different school, but I'm having a lot of fun. Me too. Your girlfriend's name is Lily, right? Yeah, that's why I asked you to get me Lily. This is my favorite flower. Should I go over there and kick her ass? Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Why not? I don't know. You and Luke M did break up, and who knows? Maybe Maybe they're just friends. Just friends? Pfft, look at her, she's all over him. So, what do you have for dinner? Yeah, just some taquitos and leftover Halloween candy. Sick. I don't know, Lexi, but I guess you have a few options here. Okay, and what are they? Well, you could kick her ass. Okay, deal. Wait, you could try to make Luke M jealous by dancing with other guys, or you could always just go talk to him. Okay, easy, I'm obviously gonna- Everybody to the dance floor, it's time to announce this year's homecoming king and queen. Oh, Luke 
Okay, I'm, I can't believe they're about to announce the homecoming king and queen. I know, right? Do you think you're gonna win? <laughs> no, I'm a freshman. There's no way I'm gonna win. I don't know. I heard a lot of people saying that they voted for you. Why? I heard they nominated him as a joke. What? Yeah, instead of the popular kids, they voted for the biggest losers. The biggest losers? No, oh, don't listen to them. If you win, it's because people love you. Yeah, you're freaking Luke M. Guys, I don't want to do this. Can we go outside or something? Yeah, of course. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. This year's homecoming queen is Britney Smith. Wait, who's Britney? She doesn't even go here. Yeah, I do. Oh, baby bump Brit. And your homecoming king is Luke M. What do I do? Go up there, get your crown. Okay. Oh, come on, we have to help him. Wait, I think she's gonna take care of this one. What's wrong with you people? This is the homecoming dance. It's supposed to be fun. Sit down, Lexi. No, you know what? Luke M doesn't deserve this. And you... I don't really know you, so maybe you do, but Luke M is nice to everybody, he's good at basketball, he's kinda good at basketball, and I love him! Wait, you love me? Of course I love you, and I know I messed up big time, but if you take me back, I'd love to be your girlfriend again. Yes, a million times yes! Here, you should have this. Oh, thank you. Hell yeah, Luke M and Lexi! Here, let me take a picture of you two. Hey, why didn't you text me back last night? Sorry, my parents take my phone every night at 9 p.m. Weird, but it kind of reminds me of that one episode of Spongebob where he's late to work and he's all like, Yeah, I've never seen it. You've never seen Spongebob? Nope, I'm not allowed to watch it. That, Harry Potter. Okay, tonight we're having a sleepover at my house and we're watching Harry Potter. Okay, let me ask my mom real quick. Hey, mom, can I stay at Laura's house tonight? I just don't know Laura's family very well. Plus, we have church in the morning. Please. No, honey, not tonight, but she can have a sleepover at our house. Fine. She says I can't stay at your house, but you can stay with me if you want. Okay, I'm cool with that. You will have to go to church with us in the morning, but afterwards we're going to the lake, so bring a swimsuit. Oh my god, yes. I literally just got the cutest swimsuit ever. Here, look. No fair. You're allowed to wear a two-piece? Yeah. Jeez, your parents are so strict. Tell me about it. We have about an hour until everybody gets here. Alicia, can you set the table, please? You told Scott to. I understand, but I haven't seen either of your brothers in like 20 minutes. Matter of fact, where are they? I don't know. Let me call them. Hey, where are you? <laughs> oh, we went for a walk. A walk? Oh. Yeah, is the food ready yet? No, but grandma's gonna be here soon and mom needs you to set up the guest room for her. Oh, is she bringing pie? I don't know. Probably. Oh my god. What? I forgot to get the cranberry sauce. Oh, it's fine. Nobody likes cranberry sauce anyways. Well, I do. Okay, dad likes cranberry sauce, but he'll eat anything. No, I actually like it too. Yeah, same. <laughs> there you guys are. Uh-oh, were you getting sick? I thought I smelled skunk for a second, but it must just be the stuffing in the oven. <gasps> the stuffing! Careful, honey, you're gonna burn the house down. It's fine, it's not a big deal. You know, I should probably change the batteries in these smoke detectors. I feel like they should be going off right now. Okay, maybe you should go do that. Boys, go get cleaned up, and Alicia, please set the dang table. Okay, just give me a second, I'm posting on TikTok. No, I love you guys, and I'm super thankful to have the whole family together, but right now, I need everybody out of the kitchen. Called dibs on using the computer after dinner. No, I was gonna play World of Warcraft. God, you're such a nerd. You're a nerd. Kids, not at the dinner table. Sorry, but what do you even need the computer for to feed your webkins? Um, no, I was actually gonna move Carly to my top friend list on MySpace. I thought you hated Carly. Well, I did, but we talked at recess and we're cool now. Oh, mom, that reminds me. What is this? Detention Alicia Marie says. Sorry, but in the wise words of Hannah Montana, everybody makes mistakes, right, Mom? How did you get this? Well, I wore my Heelys to school today and I got in trouble for rolling in the hallway. Okay, well, we can talk more when your father gets home, but you're grounded. Grounded? Yes, grounded. So no computer, no Xbox, no staying at friend's house until further notice. So does this mean I get the computer after dinner? Ugh, I hate my life. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Didn't you just get a new book? Yeah, but I had to stop reading it. It kept making me cry. Oh, what's it called? Chicken soup for the soul or something like that. Huh, sounds interesting. I might have to try it. Speaking of soup, I'm still hungry. Do we have any dessert? Mmm, we have some of those red, white, and blue rocket pops in the freezer. Ooh, yes please. Hey, do you want to get dinner or something tonight? Ugh, I can't. I'm busy applying for jobs. No, I wanted to get sushi. I know, but my dad called me today and was all like, Honey, I love you, but you've got to start thinking about a career. Dude, come drive for an Amazon freight partner. Trucking? Yeah, no, my uncle's a trucker and he's like, whoa. Coyote? No, dude, that's just a stereotype. With AFPs, women of all backgrounds are literally taking this industry by storm. Really? Yeah, and they have amazing benefits plus consistent scheduling. Okay, but there's one problem. I wouldn't even know where to get started. Oh, that's fine. AFPs are creating tons of jobs. And look, you can find all the information you're going to need at their website, driveforfreightpartner.com. Here, I'll text you the link. All right, I'll check it out, and we can do sushi tomorrow, okay? At right, class, I want you to raise your hand and tell me what you want to be when you grow up. <gasps> oh, yes, Lily? I want to be a truck driver. <laughs> that's very nice, but honey, that's a boy's job. Oh. Psst, hey. Who are you? I'm you from the future. Hello, I'm tall. Yeah, but look, don't listen to these people. You can be anything you want to be. I'm not a trucker. That's a boy's job. No, it's not. Hey, quiet. Sorry. Anyways, when you're a grown-up, there's going to be a group of companies called AFPs. AFP? 
Peace? Yes, Amazon Freight Partner Program. And guess what? They're all about diversity and creating jobs for women, people of color, and just people from all backgrounds. People like me? Yeah, and I know you're just a kid, so you don't care about this stuff, but the benefits are wild. Look, I'll just text you a link to driveforfreightpartner.com where you can find more info. Text? Okay, wait, I forget you're like in the 90s right now. Actually, it's 2001. Ugh, good luck, little me. Keep your head up, and if I can give you some advice, stay away from Josh over here. Josh Matthews? Yeah, like eight years from now, he's gonna dump you right before prom, and you're gonna cry about it for like six months. Okay, I don't like crying, so... Yo, Luke M, I can't believe you and Lexi got homecoming king and queen. I know, right? I totally called it. Congrats. Thanks. It was crazy. But I will say, high school dances are way lamer than they look in the movies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the DJ they hired is actually a youth pastor at that church by the school. Really? I mean, I guess it makes sense. They only played the clean version of songs. Lame. Hey, at least it wasn't the kids' bop versions. What's wrong with kids' bop? Oh my god, did you guys see what happened to Trent? No, what happened? He got kicked out of the dance for no way yeah and i guess he made a huge scene and was all like you guys can't kick me out do you even know who my dad is okay he's a lawyer yikes did anything else crazy happen Ooh, do you guys know michael and clara uh-uh they're those band kids who are always like kissing and whispering stuff to each other in the cafeteria oh yeah uh what about them? well apparently they snuck away from the dance and got caught in the science room together oh yeah what but hey at least our nights were pretty uneventful tell me about it i'm just happy to have everything back to normal sorry one second it's my mom hello what? Oh, Luke M, I can't believe we have to run the timed mile today. I know, right? It's freezing outside. You doing okay? You look kind of down. I don't know. Well, what's wrong? Wait, let me guess. Is Tom Brady still not replying to your Instagram DMs? Shut up! Are you having lady troubles? Kind of. Something's going on with Lexi, but she won't tell me what's wrong. <sighs> Women. Is she on her period, you think? No, I think something's actually wrong. Do you remember yesterday when her mom called her and she was all like, What? And then she just ran away? Well, I haven't even talked to her since then, and she's been ignoring all of my texts. Dang, why didn't you talk to her in English class? She's not at school today. Well, let's go to her house. Right now? Like, ditch school? Uh, yeah, Lexi might need us. And plus, do you really want to run a mile in the snow right now? Good point. Okay, let's go. Hey, excuse me, young men. Where do you think you're going? Run! Oh, okay, this is Lexi's house. It doesn't look like anybody's home. Look, there's a light on in that room right there. That's Lexi's room. Come on. Whoa, slow down. The run over here was worse than just doing the timed mile. Lexi! Are you okay? Good news, kiddos. There's no school today. What? Why? Go look outside. Whoa, a snow day? Can we go to the mall or something? Sorry, honey. I still have to go to work. Okay. Breakfast is on the table, and for lunch, you guys can eat the Lunchables that are in the fridge, okay? Heck yeah. Are they the pizza kind? No, they were all out, so I just got the chicken nugget kind. Ew, mom. Those are gross. What? I thought they were pretty neat. You just shake them in the bag, and they somehow heat up. It's like magic. Yeah, I like them. You'll eat anything. Will not. You got sent to the principal's office for eating Play-Doh. Yeah, in kindergarten. Plus, you can't tell me it doesn't smell delicious. Yeah, no. You kids be good. I'll be home around four, okay? Oh. Mom, can I please have my Game Boy back? No, your father and I said you'll get it back when you get your grade up in English. Ugh, well, that's never gonna happen. My teacher hates me. Come on, just go outside and build a snowman or something. Yeah, no thanks. Or stay inside, make hot chocolate, and those paper snowflakes you used to love. Oh, I forgot about those. I bet I can make mine cooler than yours. <laughs> no way. Come on, I'll get the paper. Okay, girl, you ready to go to the store? Did you just call me a whore? No, I said the store. Are you wearing your hearing aids? Ugh, no, they don't match my outfit. Who are you trying to impress? Your husband died 10 years ago. Well, I told you that my daughter moved me into that senior living facility, right? Yeah, the one down by the lake? Yes, well, you will not believe the amount of eligible bachelors that live there. Really? Oh, yes, last night I sat by this total silver fox at Bingo, and don't even get me started about Leo. <gasps> Who's Leo? Oh, he's my nurse, and you can call me a crazy old lady, but I'm pretty sure he's into me. Ugh. God, what I wouldn't do to be young again. What do you mean? You don't look a day over 70. Thanks, but I feel like everything on my body is just melting at this point. Now, nah, look at those cakes. Have you been doing some senior water aerobics or something? Girl, this is a diaper. Oh, my bad. So what are we getting at the store? What were we getting at the store? I forgot. Are you sure you're still good to drive? They took my license away when I turned 80. Me too, but I have a fake ID that says I'm 65. <laughs> Heck yeah, just like old times. Just like old times. Come on, let's go. Hi, honey. Have fun at your sleepover. Bye, mom. Oh, hi, Alicia. Come on in. I think Jenna's downstairs. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Smith. Hey, over here. Dude, your house is awesome. Oh, thanks. Do you have the whole basement to yourself? No, my brother's room's right here. This is Jack. So, whoa, who's your friend? Ew, don't even think about it. You know my friends are off limits. Sorry, he's gross. Oh, it's okay. So, I was thinking we could sleep on the trampoline tonight. Are you down? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Okay, grab some pillows and we can just share my blanket. Hey, you keep stealing the blankets and it's freezing. Ugh. Oh, perfect. Hey, where'd you go last night? I heard you get up. Oh, I was just cold, so I went inside and grabbed another blanket. Uh-oh. What? That's my mom's fancy blanket. We're not supposed to use it. I'm sorry, I had no idea. It's okay, let's just sneak it back inside real quick. Jenna May? Yes? I just got your report card in the mail. A C minus in algebra? Okay, you know I'm bad at math. This is unacceptable. Why can't you be more like your brother? Hey, this is awkward. I'm gonna have my mom come pick me up. No, it's fine. You think Jack is so perfect, but he sneaks girls in here all the time. What the heck, dude? I thought you had my back. That's it. Both of you, go to your rooms. Oh, come on. I'm actually gonna head home. I'll see you at school. Hey honey, call me if you need anything, okay? Okay, bye mom. 
Hey, you made it. Come on, my mom just made a frozen pizza. Yes, I'm starving. Uh, mom, where's the pizza? It should be on the counter. Well, it's not here. Jack? Someone say my name. Dude, mom made that pizza for us. Sorry, I just dropped down to silver five and it stressed me out. I needed a snack. Whatever, come on, let's go find something else to eat. Wait, I have a question for your friend. Um, is she like paying you to hang out with her or something? Cause like- Shut up! God, he's such a jerk sometimes. Come on, let's go make another pizza. All right, I'm just gonna run and use the bathroom real quick. Okay, oh, don't be surprised if Peaches shows up. She loves following people to the bathroom. Oh, hi Peaches. Oh my god. Hey, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm fine. Mom, I need you to come get me. What? Why? I just dropped you off. I clogged their toilet like bad. Okay, calm down. Did you try flushing it again? No, one second. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yo, are you sure you're okay? I heard yelling. Yeah, one second. Mom, it overflowed everywhere. What do I do? If you're having issues, my mom has fiber bars. Just tell her what happened. She'll understand. Oh my god, okay. Hey, Jenna, um, I on accident clogged your toilet. Oh no, did you use the bathroom downstairs? Yes. Oh, I should have told you, that toilet does not work very well. Oh, my dad said he was gonna fix it, but that was like six months ago. My parents have almost got divorced over this. I'm sorry, I should have asked. And sorry about your parents. No, it's fine. Honestly, they probably should get divorced, I guess. So, I've been thinking, we should try to pull an all-nighter tonight. Binge watch as many movies as we can. Yes, ooh, we should watch a scary movie first. Oh my god, yes, just promise me you won't fall asleep. Pinky promise. OMG guys, it's Lexi, and welcome to a day in my life. Usually I wake up and text my super dreamy boyfriend, Luke M, but my parents took my phone away, so that's not gonna happen. Ugh, I wonder what Luke M's doing right now. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm eating this cheese stick thing because I do not want to go downstairs and talk to my mom right now. You guys probably don't know my story, but last week was the best and worst week of my entire life. It started out awesome because me and Luke M got nominated as homecoming king and queen as freshmen. Can you believe it? But things took a turn for the worst on Wednesday when my mom called me with some bad news. Hello? What? So it turns out that Trent, the school bully, got kicked out of the dance for you probably already saw the clip of him getting kicked out on Instagram. You guys can't kick me out. Do you even know who my dad is? Okay, he's a lawyer. It's going totally viral. But when they took him down to the station, he told everyone that I must have spiked his drink. The only time I spike is on the volleyball court. Luckily, there was no evidence, but that didn't matter to my mom. When I got home, she went off saying, Your behavior lately has been unacceptable, so until you show some real change, you're grounded. And your father and I have decided to homeschool you. Yeah, homeschool me. So basically, my life is over. <laughs> This is way worse than public school, and that's saying a lot. For dinner, I'm having mac and cheese with a side of tears because I'm sad and I just started my period. But at least I have my TV. Have you ever seen America's Next Top Model? Okay, it's midnight and I just snuck into my parents' room and stole my phone back. I'm gonna try to call Alexis and- Oh, sh Can I have a bite of that? A small one. Okay. Seriously? What? Here, I got you a present to make up for it. A present? Yeah. <laughs> oh, babe, don't pretend like you don't love it. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Hey, babe, look at this. Oh my god! What, you don't like my dance moves? I loved it so much. Thank you. Oh, come downstairs. I want to show you my new clothes. Okay, more clothes. Okay, so this is the first one. Ooh, turn around. Okay. Okay, you've been squatting or something? Shut up. No, for real, that is a nice caboose. I mean, it's not as nice as mine, but... No, seriously, how is yours so juicy? I guess I'm just blessed. Oh, Luke M, I can't believe Lexi's parents decided to homeschool her. I know, right? Like, what's even the point of coming to school if my girlfriend's not here? I mean, at least you have basketball, right? I guess, but even that's ruined. Every single day before basketball practice, Lexi would come up to me and be like, Hey, Luke M, wanna make out under the bleachers before practice? And as crazy as that sounds, I swear those kisses gave me the energy to get through practice. Dang, well, maybe you could just, like, drink an energy drink or something. Yeah, but practice is still gonna suck. I mean, did you hear why Lexi's parents took her out of school? No, why? It's because Trent, aka the basketball team captain, aka the biggest jerk in this school, got her in trouble. Trent Friend? Yeah, apparently when he got kicked out of the homecoming dance for- He lied and said that Lexi spiked his drink. Are you kidding me? So Trent's not in trouble at all and Lexi got kicked out of the school? No, they didn't have any proof so she's not in trouble with the school or anything but her parents flipped out and decided to homeschool her. That sucks, man. I feel so bad for Lexi. Yeah, I want to do something to make her feel better so I was thinking about posting a special dance video for her on my Instagram. Oh, I want to see. Well, I haven't posted it yet. It's pretty advanced and flashy and I don't want people to think I'm showing off or anything. Well, can I watch it? Oh, for sure. Hey, Lexi, I hope this video puts a beautiful smile on your beautiful face. Okay, hit it, mom. I like big books and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Oh, that was awesome, right? Okay, I'm posting it right now. Oh, I almost forgot. Did you study for the history final today? That's today? Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, what's going on with your phone? I don't know. Oh, God. What? A ton of people are watching my dance video right now. Well, how many? Drew, I am going totally viral. Oh, my God. Do you think I'm going to get a meet Lady Gaga? Maybe. Wait, what does Lady Gaga have to do with this? I mean, when I'm famous, I get to hang out with Lady Gaga, right? I guess. See, I always knew I was destined to be a star, just like my role model and the most badass guy out there. LeBron James? No, Troy Bolton.
Babe, what are you doing? I'm washing my face. With hand soap? Yeah, it smells good. Here, use this. No thanks, I tried using one of my sister's fancy girl soaps one time and it gave me acne. Okay, you hungry? I'm gonna go grab a snack. Ooh, yes please. Hey, where are the leftovers from last night? The chicken strips? Yeah, I could have sworn they were in here. Sorry, babe, I got really hungry after the gym and needed some protein. Ugh, dang it. Hey, babe. <laughs> Jeez, you scared me. You gotta be more vigilant, I guess. I'm gonna get you back, you know? No, leave my cakes alone. They're off limits. Hey, I can't sleep. I'm gonna go play video games. No, come here. Let's snuggle. Okay, well, can I be the little spoon? Yes. Hey, are you hungry? Babe, we ate like an hour ago. Pretty sure it was like two hours ago, but anyways, I'm starving. Okay, well, what sounds good? Nothing. I'm so nauseous. Is Miss Flo here? Yes. Here, hand me my phone. I'll help you look for something to eat. Um, who's Grace? Grace, my cousin? So excited to see you next weekend. It's been way too long. Does that sound like something a cousin would say? Yes, next weekend's my grandma's 80th birthday party. The whole family's getting together. Mm, sure. Baby, stop. You know you're my girl. My girl? Oh my god, I almost forgot about that movie. It's the one where the little boy gets stuck by the bees. What? It's a movie called My Girl. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So you're crying about a movie you haven't seen since you were a kid? No, I'm crying because I actually don't know why I'm crying right now. I'm just emotional, okay? Okay, well, how can I help? I don't know. Talk to my uterus. Your actual uterus, okay? Um, hey, dude. Dude. I don't know. Do you want me to name it? Yes. And it's a girl, by the way. All right. Uh, hey, Samantha. I know you're angry right now but i promise in like five days you'll feel all better and and we're gonna get you some ice cream and some advil and i promise you'll be back to your old self in no time okay how was that that was beautiful baby Th <gasps> what i'm dripping all right honey did you finish writing your christmas list oh yes here you go wow okay there's a couple things on here that you might need to explain to me wait mom you didn't ask me for a christmas list how are you gonna know what to get me underwear socks toothbrush lame the new ps5 whoa no way okay anyways we've got airpods slippers lip scrub whoa what Lucy, where am I supposed to get you a cure for my depression or thicker eyebrows? I don't know, online? Okay, Uggs, travel hand sanitizer, Timothy Chalamet. Honey, what? You said write down all the things you want or need, and Timothy Chalamet is definitely on that list. Okay, for a season two of Wednesday and my ex to get fugly? Fugly. And a booty like J-Lo. Uh, Lucy Ann. What? Okay, there's only a couple more. Keep reading. All right, okay, a puppy. Oh, absolutely not. Starbucks card, Taylor Swift concert tickets. Oh, that could be doable. I love T-Swift. Actually, that's like the least doable thing on the list. Really? All right, well, I'll get this over to Santa Claus. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Johnson, and this is a day in my life. For breakfast, I'm having a piece of cheese and a tiny little bit of wine, but don't judge me. It's a special occasion. Today's Christmas Eve. My husband's out of town for work, so it's just me and my daughter. Actually, let's go see what she's up to. Knock, knock. Mom, get out. That's my daughter. Honey, do you want some hot chocolate? I can make it with extra marshmallows. Yeah, that's cool. You hear that? She thinks I'm cool. Oh, and can you please take down that picture of me you posted on your Instagram? What? Why? Because I look insane, and like a billion people have already seen it. Well, I think you look slay. Some people don't know this about me, but last year I actually turned into quite the internet celebrity. My Instagram account, hotmama underscore one, totally popped off when I posted a picture with the one and only Channing Tatum. It doesn't look like you follow me. Every day I go to my Pilates class and today they're throwing a Christmas party. Okie doke, I just got back. I had a couple of errands to run, but I on accident spent like two hours in Target. Whoops, but look what I got. Well, what is it? It's a headband for you. Oh, looks like the food I ordered is here. Thanks. I order because I hate cooking. Honey, dinner's ready. Whoa, did you just hear something? My mom's home, hi. Hey, the food's here. Okay, I'll be there in a second. New shoes? Oh, yeah. Come eat dinner and tell your guest he can join us too. I can't sleep, so I'm binge watching Married at First Sight with my babies. Well, that's it. Remember to live, laugh, love, and kiss a cat today. Oh, Luke M, I can't believe Christmas break's almost over. I know, right? It's no fair. My sister's in college and she gets like a month off. Seriously? Well, did you get any cool presents? Not really. My mom went on this wellness retreat last month with some of her weird hippie friends, so now we're living as minimalists. Well, that sucks. I got a PlayStation. Seriously? Yeah, I've been gaming and eating leftover Christmas cookies like nonstop. Those carrots are the first vegetable I've seen in like a week and a half. Well, there's more where that came from. Oh, and my mom made some dark chocolate chickpea pudding if you're still hungry. Ugh, no thanks. So how do you end up doing on the history final? Bad? I had no idea that it could cumulative test would have everything from the whole quarter on it. Yeah, welcome to high school. Like, how am I supposed to remember stuff from months ago? I can't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. I had corn chowder. See, how do you remember that? Because there was corn in my poop this morning. Oh. So have you heard from Lexi lately? Yeah, her parents gave her her phone back for Christmas, so we've been talking on the phone for like five hours every night. Five hours? Don't you get bored? No, not with her. Have you ever felt like that with someone? No, but you know Cassie, Lexi's best friend? Yeah? Well, I guess my mom is friends with her mom, so we ended up hanging out at this super lame Christmas party our moms drug us to. Ooh, here's a picture we took together. Oh my god, I've been saying this forever. You guys need to date. I know, I know, but she did invite me to a New Year's Eve party. Oh my god, New Year's Eve is my favorite holiday because that's when Troy and Gabriella met in high school musical. I know, but apparently her parents are just like super chill and are letting her have a party. That's so cool. Yeah, it's gonna be epic. You wanna come? Heck yeah, I wanna go. Luke, honey, dinner's ready. Ugh, Mom made tofu and Brussels sprouts for dinner. Do you wanna go to your house and play PlayStation instead? Yeah, let's go.
Welcome to the burger place. What can I get started for you? Hey, don't be weird. What? I don't know. You just looked like you were going to be awkward. Okay, well, I wasn't. Yeah, I doubt that. But hurry, there's a line of cars behind you. Okay. Hi, can I get the four-piece chicken strips with the Dr. Pepper? Our soda machine's actually broken right now. Can I get you something else? Oh, yeah, I'll take a Pepsi instead. Bro, she said the soda machine was broken and you asked for a Pepsi. God, you look so silly right now. Sorry, ma'am. We don't have Pepsi either. Okay, just give me one second. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm just looking at my options. I could do lemonade. Drive. What? You're taking way too long. Just drive. We can eat at home. Stop. Yeah, um, I'll just have the lemonade okay your total is gonna be 1268 at the second window thank you total's 1268 one second uh-oh where's your wallet god your purse is a mess okay, here you go what if your card got declined what would you even do do you have cash on you just in case no but it won't i just got paid okay but what if it did she's gonna ask you a quick question right there oof awkward why is it awkward because she's asking for a tip while she's staring directly at you plus it's kind of weird to tip at a drive through is it yeah okay so no tip Dang, savage. You told me no tip. Hey, don't blame me. I just hope she doesn't spit in your food or something. What? All right, ma'am. Enjoy your food. Thanks, you too. She said enjoy your food and you said you too. <laughs> oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Stop. Oh, they gave me the wrong thing. I'm going to go back real quick. No, that would be so awkward. Just eat the burger. Okay, fine. 